I understand why, but I want to know what you guys think about this. So essentially, I forget how we were talking about the conversation, but I told her that I believe in the possibility that it's possible that she could cheat on me, right? She made a face and I doubled down on my statement. I said, yeah, I don't think you would, but I believe you have the possibility, which she didn't like. So anyway, we had a conversation about that. And she's explaining why, how she can never do it because it's not in her DNA. Da, 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 and I get all that. All right. And that's not even what I was talking about. I wasn't saying the possibility because I think she'll do it. It's just recognizing that anything's possible. I have the ability to cheat on my wife. I have the ability to kill someone. I have the ability to rob someone. I have the ability to drive my car off a bridge. We all have the possibility to do anything, everything. But for me, what's more powerful is knowing that when I'm in a relationship or in my marriage, for example, that my wife is not with me because she feels like she needs me because there's nothing else that she can do in the world. Like there's a lot of power that comes with knowing that she chooses me, right? Knowing that she's whole, she's complete and she can walk away, but she doesn't, she chooses me. And what I see in a lot of people, especially work with couples is, is having to untangle this is a lot of people want to feel needed. They need to feel needed. And I think it's a shitty place to want to feel loved because at the end of the day, someone is, is someone needs you because they feel like they can't go anywhere else and they have no other options. Is that really a powerful feeling? Is that really a deep love and commitment to you? And I don't think it is. And so as I conveyed to my wife is like, of 